Hi. I was asked if I would start on time, and um, I did not start on time. So, that being said, I guess we're all good here. So, today's goal is to simply um, read ridiculous comments that you have posted, and to go from there, and um, I don't know, just see, uh, see what's up. All right, let's jump right into this. So I have a split cam, and we're going to go over here and just kind of pick out some of these, see what happens. Oh, I'm hearing the mic is weird and muffled. I love that. That's really fun. Hold on. Let's check it out. Oh, I know why. The mic was in my pocket. Not a mic. Are we good? I'll wait. I'm in no hurry. I'm going to read silly comments, and this is fun. Let's see here. I'll wait on Bokey. It's all good. It's all fun. Check one, two. Okay. I think we're good. So let's um let's go from here and um jump right in does that sound good y'all all right here we go so let's just start um let's start right here so this is a really great um comment it's it's a little uh it's a little it's a little big right a little big so i'm gonna have to read it out the input cap on the Nauticon is cutting off some of the bass bell-like clarity. Is it ceramic? When playing single bendy licks, there's a slight difference in the bell-like nature of the original and a slightly lo-fi vibe added to the Nauticon. Am I the only one hearing this? There's a slight HPF with a slight mid-push on the Nauticon, whereas the original sounds slightly anemic, burned in. I don't know. It's magical, though. I wish I wasn't saying that. It's like there's more frequency getting through. On the Nauticlon, creating a slightly disharmony, a slight disharmony of tone, which masks the bell-like clarity the original has. What is causing this? I wonder if you freeze and heat the Nauticlon a million times and run a boosted guitar signal through it for 1,000 hours on loop, or perhaps use a different solder with different resistance qualities. This is approaching madness levels of insanity. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's straight up approaching madness levels of insanity. That's exactly what's happening here. So let's, uh, let's, I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. Um, it's a, it's a clon, it's clon circuit. And, um, there's no bass bell like clarity being cut off. So I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to say there. Moving on. All right. Next up, let's do some split, split screens. Okay. JHS shows always feel like one of those low-budget adult swim segments that no one watches because they're going to Taco Bell at 1 a.m. I don't know if that's like, is that like a, is that like a, uh, is that a negative or a positive? I, I'm not sure. Our adult swim is a thing. I'm familiar. Um, I'm just not sure if that's a cut down, a sick burn. I'm not sure. All right. I like this. Richard Clark. Richard Clark, first of all, you seem like a joyful person. Here we go. I know more about pedals than anyone at JHS. And I assure you that this type of pedal has no staying power in the industry. No one will ever want to buy this by the time it ships. Okay. All right. Again, I don't know what I don't know what to say to that. You know what I mean? Like, what am I supposed to say to that? Richard Clark knows more about pedals than anyone at JHS. That's cool. I'm happy for you, Richard. You sound awesome. Um, this was off an Instagram uh, message. I think your Nauticon pedal needs a little bit of more air to get just as good as the original one. What is air? What is the air? 
What do we mean by air? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Next. If people have a problem waiting, they could always buy a bad monkey. They're sure to drop in price now that you've released this. The bad monkey just keeps showing up. It's like the joke that gets told over, like it won't go away. The bad monkey's never gonna go away. I feel like on my tombstone, it'll be like, JHS did great stuff, but bad monkey. All right. Um, let's see, I've got, I'm gonna go to the starred stuff here. I have a few that were starred. Where are they at? Yeah, okay. Let me, let me just, uh, I'll just go to those, go to the ones that are starting. Skipping over, uh, let's do this. First, he turns a $100 bad monkey, here we go, into a $1,000 bad monkey, not accurate. Now he turns a $5,000 clon into a $100 not a clon. What's next? That one's amusing, I get it, it was clever. That was clever, I'll give it to you. All right, let's see. Still waiting on not a bad monkey. See, it's never gonna go away. I can't get away from the bad monkey. I'm cursed. I'm cursed by the bad monkey. Um, all right, next up. Nerd. 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 Okay. Glad that we got to... Everybody, everybody do that with me. Say it with me. Ready? Nerd. Just say it out loud so the people around you think you're crazy. Nerd. Okay. That was fun. Uh, very Warhol of you. Very well done. That's a high compliment. Anytime someone could compare me to Andy Warhol, um, I'm, I'm here for that. Andy Warhol was the greatest troll of all time. And I aspire to just be, just to be half the troll. Not even half. I would take an eighth of the troll that he was. Has anyone ever divided a troll into fractions? I don't know. Here's another one. Josh is the Warhol of the pedal market, a marketing genius of sorts, half off, hats off. Thank you for the compliment. Um, again, oh, here's another. This is so Andy Warhol, again, lots of that. I don't even, let's skip that one. There's so many. Wait a second. Are we watching a child labor video? I guess now J just stands for Jesus H Sweatshop. Winky smiley face. Whatever, man. Okay. The kids were coached. What does this mean? What does it mean that the kids were coached? Does anyone know what it means? Is this person saying that we like stood there and told them what to say? Because we didn't. We didn't tell them what to say. Millie is genuinely that adorable and everything out of her mouth is like, it's the cutest stuff you've ever heard in your life. And she's brilliant. And then Ethan, my son, he's like, he's like a spider monkey, just waiting to be unleashed. I mean, he talks like this around the house. This is this, the stuff he says in the video is like stuff you hear at breakfast. You know, it's nothing for him to say yeet or, you know, no cap, bussin. Uh, he loves these words. I don't know that he knows what they mean. Um, like high key, he says high key a lot. He called me based today. He called me mid the day before that. Um, one time we were, uh, we were in the, I think we were in the living room and he said, um, there's so many of these phrases, I can't keep up with them. The point is, these are our children. Okay. My IQ is like 92 and I'm confident I could build this. That's why we're here. That's, that's why we're here. Which one would you rather have as your dad? This is not gonna go anywhere good. So the guy says, Josh or Nick? Sorry, dad, I love you and all, but I would take either of them. Cry face. I remember accidentally starting this company and um, I thought to myself, I'll know success when I've figured out how to come between sons and their fathers. There's something about that. I, I knew that if I could break into the, the dad market and become 
you know, JHS, the characters of JHS, the ultimate dads, and we could replace the fathers of Earth, I knew that we would have made it. So I guess we've made it. Uh, JHS, replacing dads. That's probably wouldn't sell well, but you know, you got to hide some of your best marketing, you got to hide it. You know what I'm saying? This is a long one. Um, so, okay, hands up. Look, I'm now over 50 years old. Began with the guitar when I was 11. I've been playing guitar in bands for decades. I have played through many, many, many different pedals, both regular factory produced and clones and one-offs. I've recorded and worked in recording studios. I've studied and gained a music technology degree. And I cannot hear what is supposed to be so great about the perfectly ordinary and average clone overdrive. I swear to yours, this is the line. I swear to yours or to anyone's God, I cannot understand what the big deal is. I've never heard that phrase. I swear to anyone's God. That's a big statement because there's a lot of gods out there. Logi, obviously. Um, also, I just got a text. Richard Clark, you're watching this and you wanted to know, you wanted me to know you were joking. I assumed you were joking. I was like, Richard's, Richard's a cool guy. All right. Um, let's see here. Is this fun? Is this even fun? I can do more of this. I can read split screen comments for weeks. We have an entire fold. This folder is madness. Okay, let's jump back in. Um, this is like cloning a Commodore 64, a relic no one uses anymore that wasn't even that great the first time around. All right, whatever. Man, I've seen a ton of mentions of the not a clone over the past two days, and I thought the name for a clone clone or not was pretty witty. Pretty witty. JHS, pretty witty. Watching this video was a tad disappointing. There's a winky, though. See the winky? See that? Can Josh or anyone explain what the umlaut in the name is for? So, an umlaut is the thing the dash. So like on the nauticlon here, the umlaut is the, the little, this thing. So nauticlon, nauticlon, nauticlon. We went through like where to put, we had an entire meeting about where to put the umlaut. This has never happened in pedals. There's never been a time where five people met in a room and talked about where to put an umlaut. That's a JHS first. Um, we're proud of that. We, we, um, we got advice from some people that are regional to this type of language and grammar, right? Um, and this is what was suggested. Does it mean anything? It's kind of like it does in a little bit of a trolley way, but it also is like not exactly where you would put it. So what we're saying is it looked best here, sounded best here, and to me personally was more funny. So that's why. All right. All right, let's go back. Split Screen Madness. That's a John Mayer reference. He had a song called Split Screen Sadness. So this is sort of a pun on that. That, that didn't work. That joke failed horribly. All right, let's keep going. Um, at 548, when the hated baby human... Let's pause right here. Hated baby human. I, do you hate the baby humans? Because those are our kids. I mean, I, I feel like I should stand up here and be like, hey, don't hate our kids. Maybe you're thinking I hate my kids. Maybe you're thinking the kids were characters to be hated. I'm not sure. At 548, though, when said baby hated, hated baby humans... Hated baby humans, JHS, another tagline that would never fly, uh, said construction manual. My reaction was a smirk of amusement until I realized he's not wrong. That's pretty funny. So you realized in that moment that you had to build this yourself. And that's the fun of the product. Uh, we're going to keep trucking. 
You finally made a Homestar Runner video. So wholesome. If you know what Homestar Runner is, drop it in the comments. Because Homestar Runner is the far supreme entertainment of the early internet. And if you know what it is, you know what it is. Let's keep going. While I object child labor, this is good. This is good that we're getting this out in the open. Child labor is not a positive thing, but you're objecting it. Uh, this has been one of the most joyful videos to watch. I don't have children. I don't like children. And somehow I find this the best video ever. Here's a tagline for all of us. We should do this shirt. I don't have children. I don't even like children. But this is a good video, JHS. I'm really trying to find some new slogans in here. Uh, let's keep going. I can't wait to build one of these with my wife so I can argue with her the whole time like when I build Ikea furniture. Thanks, Josh. That was really the goal. There's a certain frustration that comes from building things with your spouses. And we really hoped as JHS that we could offer you uh, the opportunity to pay for frustration. $99 for a little bit of frustration, we thought it would be a really great thing for you. So, uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Um, I love it, but unfortunately they don't apply the 15% discount to me and shipping to Spain is expensive. In the end, 137.90 euro, it is true that it is not 7,600 euro, but it's still like seven or eight cups of coffee. Maybe when it comes to Toman, who's a distributor. So, yeah, it's coffee math. I'm down. I'm with it. Let's see here. Um, oh, Joshua's saying on the one comment, it's not that he hated the kids. It's the hatted kid. Oh, like the hatted kid. So that was my kid. So Ethan had a hat on, so he's hatted. I've never said hatted in my life. I've never heard anyone say hatted. So I'm sorry. But from now on, when I see a person in a hat, I'm going to say, that dude's hatted. He's hatted up, y'all. Sick. He's, he's so based. That's a that dude's high key hatted, yo. Um, for Rizzle, I don't, I'm trying to learn these languages of the kids, but hatted, hatted is new, hatted's a new thing. Um, all right, let's get back, get back to business here. Um, this is an awesome idea to get the kids to help and learn about things. Now I just gotta have kids. You can build this without kids, but I will say. Again, I had a lot of goals when I came up with this idea. One of the key goals was, hey, I want to make a pedal that makes people make people, right? I said, hey, if I can make a pedal that makes people want to make little people, that's my impact on the world. So, you know, guitar pedals have changed sound, but they've never changed the population. And I'm here to change the population. And um, so Tony Barber 420... Uh, good job. Good job. You got to go populate now. You know, populate it. Populate the earth. That way you can buy this pedal. Okay. Let's see here. Nope, that's that comment. Let's do this. I can't explain all the things I love about this. Such a beautiful thing. I want to zoom in. These are two question marks with a highlighter, but let's zoom in on this emoji. I know the kids say things like straight capping, hatter, hatten, and, and uh, uh, L plus ratio or whatever. I don't know. There's all these sayings that are cool. The emoji stuff, though, I can't. I try. It's one thing to speak language. It's another to see it. Right, see the emoji is the modern hieroglyphics of the internet. And I haven't learned it, I have never learned it. So what is rainbow heart alien? Is this, is this vulgar? I feel like it's probably extremely vulgar. Um, 
I don't know. Alien could mean a lot. Heart could mean a lot. Rainbow could mean a lot. And when you put them together, that's three a lots. So, yeah, cool. If anybody can translate that, uh, yeah. If anybody can translate that, let's, uh, we'll talk about it later. All right, here we go. Great work, kids. All four of you. What he's saying is Nick and I were in the video with our two kids. He's saying we're kids too, and that's really funny. Super funny. Yeah. We have some thoughts on what it means here. Green Lion 2000 says intergalactic love. Uh, Distor Sean says his spectrum of love for the clan is out of this world. Oh, the heart is love. Okay. Um, Fuzz Imp great name, says, Josh should be learning some meme culture, but also creating it simultaneously. I try to walk in a state of constant making. Um, I feel like if I, if you can't learn something, you just make a thing that's better than what you can't learn. I've just tried to always do that. Um, summer school's in here. Uh, he says, I teach middle school and I don't, I don't understand. Yeah. I don't think we'll ever understand uh, Richard Clark, uh, who I knew was joking, Richard, you, you said Rizma Cap. Rizma Cap. Okay. Cool. All right. Here we go. We're still going. I could do this for months. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm going to go full screen on this. It's a chunky boy. Let's see. Even though I'm 41 and tech savvy, I'd still use the book, Laugh Out Loud. That's how I roll. The kids are adorable. Imagine being a young kid guitar head and having Josh and Nick as your dad. I miss the boat, fellas. A lot of dad talk. JHS makes freaking awesome pedals. Them and Walrus are my jam. This video was genius, and so was the product itself. I'm buying one just because it's JHS. I have a king of tone, but I'm still buying this because since I know it's JHS, I believe in it even more. Keep it up, Josh and company. Can I get one made by the kids? They will do way better than me. Um, I like this part. Just no boogers on the circuit board. So there's a couple things here. David, thank you. Secondly, I can't legally have the kids build it. That's been tried and that has not gone well for certain people. Um, we can make a booger-free guarantee at JHS. JHS Pedals, um, we have really strived to build a great company. We've really strove, that's a word the kids are saying, we've been stroven to make uh, the cleanest pedals on the market. And I have gone to great lengths over the last 15 years to come against boogers on pedals. I have, uh, I've never been a fan of boogers on pedals. And JHS has one thing to say to you, JHS is booger free, and that's the only way to be. I just made that up. T-shirt, JHS, booger free. Um, true story, first grade, um, nap time. A girl, I'm going to call her out. I don't know where she is. Her name was Lisa Rambo. Lisa Rambo wiped a booger on me at nap time. That's probably why I am how I am. Lisa Rambo... I haven't thought about you in years, but let me tell you something. You wiped a booger on me, like a booger from your nose. You wiped it on me, on right here, I think, somewhere. Did I get over it? Yeah. Did I forget it? Yes. But now have I remembered it? Yes. Lisa Rambo, God bless you, I guess. Jesus said, pray for your enemies. And anybody that wipes a booger on me is definitely an enemy. So, booger-free pedals. Thank you, Lisa Rambo. Okay. Josh, <laughs> this is disgusting. Life's not always roses and clans. Sometimes it's boogers, first grade nap time. Okay. Moving on. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Hmm, I think you secretly named this kit after a Voigtlander lens or maybe the L brand one. That's Leica. 
but you know those umlauts. I only put that there for the fellow photographers who own, I own some Voigtlander lenses and some Leica kits. Uh, so Dean Johnson, I really just put this in here because I just wanted to relate to the 0.01% uh, of photographers who actually shoot old cameras. There's not many of us, but I put it in here just to say that I'm a relatable person. Like if I was running for president, I have to relate to Florida and Ohio and Arizona. And, you know, this was kind of for Arizona, if you know what I'm saying. It's a metaphorical thing. A lot of you understood what I just said. A lot of you didn't. It's fine. You're still hung up on how a girl named Lisa Rambo wiped a booger on my face. And I get it. It's, it's a weird thing. All right. Same guy. Pretty sweet, guys. I think I'm going to get my two boys one each. But seriously, we're going to have to talk about this coffee you guys are drinking. Coffee's expensive. Really. It's nothing to... Uh, locally, a drip coffee with room, that's another thing the kids say. They say, hey, no cap, give me some of that bean with room. $32 for a cup of coffee, no room, or with room? Yeah, I can't help that. Uh, let's see here. Millie, all right. First, this name, let's try to read Balkan God Lauren. Balk on God. He said on God. He's one of these Gen Z's. He's a Gen Z. Balk on God, Lauren. I'm telling you, this language stuff's tough. Millie nailed an almost perfect Swedish pronunciation in her second try at 55. Like I said, Millie's a superstar. Millie is... Millie's greater than the sum of all JHS, quite frankly. She's clever, funny. She was made for the camera. You're going to see her. Uh, you're going to see her. She's going to be on the big screen one day. She has a lot of opportunity with franchises like Fast and Furious because those are never going to stop. Like Fast and by the time she's old enough, it'll be like Fast and Furious 31. It'll be like Rise of the Aztec or something. And then we're probably going to have more Mission Impossible. She could jump into Mission Impossible 28, uh, Land of Living. I don't know. I just made that up too. So Millie's got a lot of chances you're going to get to see her. Okay. We're rounding the end here, sort of. Um, as a Swede, I appreciate this to the utmost degree. You're welcome. We did it for you, just you. It's important that people that people care about the umlaut. Umlaut. Um, yeah. We did it. We did this. We did a live where I read your most ridiculous comments. I do want to say huge thank you to everybody. It's been a bonkers release. If you're unaware, I did a State of the Union Wednesday. It's in the description below. It's called, How Am I Going to Ship 20,000 of These? So we basically are fully, uh, fully in place, I guess you would say, production staff to get out 20,000 of these in the next couple, three months. Uh, we're somewhere around 14,000 sold, which is crazy. Um, we're super appreciative. You guys blew our mind. There's also links in the description. If you're unaware of what any of this is, there's a release video and then a, uh, assembly video. Um, uh, I would also say to, um, yeah, head over to jhspedals.com. There is a nice little 25% off thing going on. Today is Black Friday. I forgot to mention that. So I have to do my diligence as a business owner and tell you, hey, jump over to jhspedals.com, 25% off all pedals. So it's a pretty big deal. We don't really run discounts, but we're running, we're running the uh, Chungus discount of 25%. I say Chungus. I, I'm wearing the Chungus. Yeah, Ethan bought me this. This explains Ethan in the video. He bought me this. Um, let's see. I don't think we have anything else. I, I want to hang out, but I also want to go eat some leftovers. Um, I feel like this has been really fun. 
I guess I'll close it up, you know. It's been fun hanging out, though. Let's see here. Yeah. All right. We're going to close it up. Thank you so much. Um, I really can't say enough about how impactful you have all been as fans supporting us, uh, supporting our products. Just like it's been unbelievable. Our company is so pumped to be able to meet the need and the want for these. And um, yeah, it's pretty life changing for us as a company. So thank you so much for real. We're very, very blessed to have you all as fans. Thanks for tuning in and um, have a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. See you next week with some other stuff and take care. Bye-bye.